form a hand signal to someone who in your culture it's a signal of friendship. Guess what? You know, when we go, hey, like that, oh my. If you're in a different culture and you ever do that, and you don't know in that culture what this means, <laughs> to us this means what? Hey, go. And do that to somebody, ah, number one, okay. I won't repeat from the pulpit what that means in other cultures. You can get yourself in big trouble not understanding a culture. You can get yourself in trouble not understanding a culture by the words you use. You remember when President Bush, in reaction to 9-11, do you remember the word he used? He only used it once. But it got him into big trouble. Remember what the word was? No. None of you remember that? Okay. Well, he only said it once. He said, we are on a crusade. Oh, boy. When a Muslim hears the word crusade, guess what they think about? Uh, and, of course, he was informed right away from his advisors, don't use that word. <laughs> you do not understand the culture. And... Yeah, he needed a few more history classes. He did not major in history classes in college. But anyway, if you do not understand the culture, you can use words that can get you into trouble. And I'm, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time on this, and I, I know I've got to get on. When I first was in the ministry, I did not understand the culture of the Spanish Seventh-day Adventist Church. I moved into Alamosa, the San Luis Valley, and half my members were Spanish. And it came time for a funeral. And I, fresh out of seminary with all these righteous ideas and the right way of doing things, the family came to me and said, hey, would you do both services for us? And I said, both? Yes, would you do the night before service and the funeral itself? And I thought to myself, the night before service, what's that? Where'd that come from? That's known as the wake. And what culture did the wake come from? Where did the wake come from? Well, the wake, if you understand the understanding of that, the wake is the night before where you pray anyone who has died, you pray them into heaven. And so I said, no, nah, we don't do that in the Adventist church. And I said, no, I won't do the night before. This is one of my very first funerals. <laughs> in about two hours, I get a phone call from the Spanish pastor in Denver and say, Irv, I don't think you understand something. And I said, well, what's that? I don't think you understand in the Adventist Spanish church. Now I know it's attached to another different place. What we do, we just make this another service and we praise the Lord for his blessings and everything and then we have a funeral. I said, oh my, did I ever goof. I said, well, I've gotten into this too deep. I said, could you come down and do that night before service for me? And explain to the folks I really didn't understand their culture. Got myself in trouble because I didn't understand what? The culture. All right. This is the culture. The Old Testament culture that we need to understand. By the way, when we looked at Rahab, if you didn't understand the culture of the Canaanites, according to the Canaanites in Jericho, the profession that Rahab was in was well accepted and not looked down on in their culture. That's how low the Canaanite culture had, has become. And so, we need to understand the culture. Alright, today's story. And I've got ten minutes to tell this story. <laughs>